Here and now. Life is what you make it, or so the saying goes. But is it really? Life can be tumultuous. It has its ups and downs, beginnings and endings. Sometimes we wish we could choose what will be our ending. As we go through the motions, charting our own territory, and trying to find our purpose in this world, it sometimes crosses our mind. Is there something more? We are diverse beings, and we all have different goals, but in reaching these goals, we all impact on each other by the things we do. Do we all have one common purpose, or are we all moving in different directions so as to determine who would make it to the finish line first? In a dog-eat-dog world, what is the real purpose of each of our existences? If I scratch your back, will you really scratch mine? Or will you take off running the first chance you get? Is the fight to the finish line inevitable? Or do we really look out for each other striving to serve humanity? Or is it a give and take in an effort to find a balance? To make it big and then give something back to society? We all wonder, does success change us? Or do we remain the same person underneath it all? Many a time we look around and see that people often forget the good that was bestowed onto them in their weakest stages. They forget the people and situations that have helped to shape and build them into the persons they are today. And we ask ourselves, is mankind a self-serving reflection of what our society has become? We hear stories of yesteryear from our elders, and we marvel at how different the world and people around us once were before the advent of modernization. When life was simple, and the most perplexing question was whether we should take our bike to work that day or walk. And you would get slapped for not telling your neighbor good morning. In a matter of two blinks and a sneeze, we've progressed into a land where it is sometimes impossible to ride or walk anywhere with the plethora of automobiles on our busy motorways. And good morning is sometimes a thing of the past, even in a public place of business. In our struggle to get to the finish line, do we often forget the simple pleasures and kind courtesies that once made life a paradise? Is this paradise a thing of the past and to be remembered only as the good old days? Or more importantly, for those of us that remember those days, what small things can we each do to recapture those long-time days of yore when life was less complicated and peaceful? For sometimes, all it takes is one action to begin a chain reaction of positive change. As a product of the 21st century, we have to ask ourselves, am I a product of this life? Or is this life my production? A production to behold and let unfold the way in which we would like. Do we want to shape our destiny? Or are we just going to go through the motions, living one day to the next without a second thought for a deeper meaning, and lay blame when things don't go our way, feeling sorry for ourselves? At the end of the day, would you be happy with what you have produced and created, and the lives that you have touched? Or would you want another chance to prove your worth, to right the wrongs, to find perfection? It is important to recognize early on what is the object of our affection and not wake up one day with regrets or what-ifs. Now is the time to seize the day and take control of the things that really matter most in your life. Not today or tomorrow, but what will matter when you are old and grey and your best years are behind you as opposed to ahead of you. Would you look back and smile with fond memories of yesteryear or would you look around your surroundings, searching for meaning? In our quest for satiety, it is key to discern that material wealth is fleeting and only to be enjoyed in this life. No one can take it with them where they are going, and it definitely won't get us into the pearly gates any faster. That is, if you believe in the hereafter. For those of us who do, there is only one thing that really matters at the end of the day, and that is, to have lived, shared, learnt, and loved. Twenty years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do than by the ones you did. So throw off the bowlines, sail away from the safe harbour, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream, discover, 
Mark Twain 1835 to 1910.